Welcome back to the crochetcrowd.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to explore the USP cat and this is a beautiful thick hat with ear flaps and braids. Today I'm going to be using Schockemeyer. This is Boston yarn and we are just going to follow along the pattern and show you how to do one of these amazing little hats. So let's begin. I'm going to be using a peachy kind of color or coral color and I'm going to create a slip knot just like so. And let's insert our hook. We're using a size J, size 6.0 millimeter today. And then we're going to be starting off with and we need to chain four. So remember the one in the hook never counts as one. So one, two, three and four. And let's form a chain or a ring and we're just going to insert it into the beginning. Pull the yarn through and through to form a ring just like so. So this is the very top of the hat. So let's begin the next one and we're going to chain two, one and two. That counts as double crochet as per the instructions and we want to double crochet seven more times into the interior of the ring. So let's double crochet and I'll count those out. So we got one and two, three, four, five, six, and seven and then basically that chain two counts as one so that gives you eight. Okay, so we're just going to join it to the top of the beginning chain two that we started with just like so. So we're just gonna pull everything together and you have your center just like this. Let's begin round number two. We're going to chain two. So one and two that counts as double crochet and we're going to double crochet into that same stitch right at the bottom just like so. So every stitch around in this uh, round is going to get two double crochets into each. So we just immediately go to the next one and we double double crochet two times into there. We go to the next one two times into that one and we continue to do that all the way around and so you'll have a total of 16 stitches if you're keeping count or you'll have eight groups of two. So continue to do that and I'll meet you back in just a moment. So I've come up all the way around and just to make sure it looks like we have one more left but we don't. Okay, so this, this one here, to see how this is coming out of there? That means that that's part of it. So we want to make sure that we slip stitch at this point. So don't go an extra one. You wanna make sure that you have your, your 16 or your eight groups of two. Let's move along to round number three. We're going to do a chain two, one and two. That counts as double crochet as well and then double crochet into the first stitch and then one double crochet into the next. So we start off immediately right where we joined. It's your first one and then one double crochet into the next one like so. So we're doing an increase on this round here. So then the next one is going to get two double crochets into it. One and two and then the next one is going to get one by itself and you're gonna wanna continue that same pattern all the way around. So one will get two just like this and the other one will get one. Please do that all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way back around and I will end with one double crochet standing by itself. So you have a double. The reason for that is that we started off with two right together and then one by itself. So therefore this one should be one by itself because you have two and two there. Let's join it with the top of the beginning chain and that will finish off round number three. Round number four starts just as easy. So it's just going to chain two. That counts as your double crochet. You're going to double crochet into the same stitch. So there's your two together into the same one and then each and the next two are gonna be by themselves. So one double crochet into the next and one double crochet into the next. So here is the repeat pattern. You're going to put two into this one, two double crochets and the next two are gonna be by itself. So one and two and please do that all the way around. This is round number four. Let's finish up round number four together. We have our two into the same one and then the final two will be by themselves. So we're keeping along with the same pattern and then we're just going to join it with the top of the beginning chain two. Just like so. Okay, so let's begin to do round number five. Let's begin round number five and we're going to start off with chaining two and then we just double crochet into the same one underneath. So there's your two together and now the next three are by themselves. So double crochet into the one each of the next three. Okay, so here is the repeat pattern right now and it's gonna be two double crochets into this one 
and then the next three are by themselves and continue that same configuration all the way around. Meet you back up in just a moment. Finishing up round number five, we're just going to join at the top at the beginning. Chain two just like so. So let's begin round number six. Round number six starts off the same way, chaining two. Then we're going to double crochet into the same stitch as below. So there's your two and then the next four are going to be by themselves. So we have one double crochet, two, three, and four. And then the next one is going to be by itself. And please do that all the way around that same pattern. I'm finishing up round number six and I will have my four left that I am supposed to have and I'm going to change color at this point and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fasten off and I'm going to add on a new color and I'm just playing uh, with ideas. You can see what it looks like in the pattern if you would like the exact version and so we're just gonna put it together like this. Okay, so I want to change color at this point. Gonna grab my fancy dancy scissors. I'm going to trim my yarn just like this and I'm just gonna pull it through like this and, and I'm just gonna weave in just in and out some of the stitches just like this. And so basically once I do this I'm just gonna use the next layer to trap that completely in so I make sure that when I go into the stitch I go underneath of that, that line there and I'm just gonna leave it hanging out for now. So it's a begin and I'm gonna go with round number seven and uh, this goes really quickly so because the pattern is so thick. So I'm going to join on and let's see what I'm gonna choose. So I'm gonna join on my new yarn. I'm going to create a slip knot. It's just my own technique because I'm always worried about falling out and I wanna join it on exactly where I left off over here. Okay, so we're just going to put it together and we want to just fasten on. So just on and then one and two and simply what we want to do then is come to immediately to the next stitch and just double crochet. We're just gonna double crochet into each one going all the way around. So we're now finished doing the increase. So you're looking at the, the screen and say that hat is not big enough. It takes about th three revolutions for the hat size to settle out. So you have to stop a little earlier. So because it continues to grow just a bit more as you go. So I'm just gonna double crochet for round number seven. See how I'm trapping that in underneath? That's the way to do it and when I come around to the other side I wanna trap that one underneath as well. So please complete round number seven. Coming to my last stitch available and then basically once you come around then you just wanna join it to the top of chain two. So you can change the colors as often as you wish. What you want need to do now is that I'm gonna ask you to do rounds number eight all the way to 13. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six more lines. So please do that and when you start each one just chain up just like so and then immediately start into the next one available to you. So please do uh, rounds number eight to 13 on your own and then when we come back uh, I'll have colors changed as well throughout this and uh, we're gonna start doing the ear flaps next. Behind the scenes I'm currently working on this and I'm doing a round number 13. Uh, just to give you a heads up that the ear flap, the final one of 13 is the same color that runs down the side of the ear. So I've changed my 13th color, the 13th round to be the color that I want for the ear flaps. You don't have to do that. It's just something that I see as part of the pattern and so I wanna maintain that because I do like that look as well. So make sure when you're finishing up round number 13 that you've got the desired color that you would prefer in order to keep the hat looking consistent. Okay, I'm ready to begin now to do the ear flap and I've just stopped at round number 13 and I'm ready to go. So let's begin. We're going to chain up two first, one and two and then it says 10 half double crochets and then turn. So we want to start off in the very beginning and we want to half double crochet just into 10. So we got one and then we keep going along. So we got two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now you wanna do this for both ears so I'm only gonna show it with one ear. So there is the length there. So let's turn it and we're going to do a decrease. So it says to do so we're going to do a decrease. So now it says to chain two, 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 and then we're gonna half double crochet two together. So the first two are gonna be together. So we're gonna wrap and through, pull through, 
and then wrap and then through pull through just like so and then pull through everything. And so you just bring two stitches into one just like so and now you're going to crochet uh, into the next six. So half double crochet one, two, three, four, five and six and that leaves you two more stitches left and you're gonna half double crochet together those as well. So just wrapping through, wrap put into the last one and through and then pull through like so and that completes off round number two. Let's turn our work. Now if we decrease too quickly it's going to not cover your ears so we're going to start off with I'm gonna make sure that string is on the back side just like so. So let's begin and it says to chain two one and two and half double crochet into each. So we're not gonna decrease on this one. This is round number three or row number three if you wanna call it that. So we're just taking our time. We do wanna make it more and more narrow but we wanna make sure we don't rush the process and the final one just like so. Okay, so we wanna get that final one. I'm gonna get that right stitch. I keep only grabbing one strand. I wanna make sure I do grab both because it makes a difference in the look and then simply I just wanna turn and let's move up to round number four. Round number four we're going to do a decrease. So chain two, first two are together. Pull through everything and we're just going to just half double crochet across but on the final two you're gonna bring those together as well. Just wanna look for this so you can see one and two and we wanna bring these together. Like so. Let's move up to the next one and this is round number five. Again I wanna keep that string in behind. Just makes it look consistent. So chain two and we want a half double crochet into each one going across. So we're taking our, again taking our time of decreasing. Now let's turn our work again. And again put that string on the back. And let's start up with row number six. Row number six is also a decrease so you're just gonna chain two and then the first two are together. So and then we're going to half double crochet and then we're just gonna look for the remaining two and bring those together as well. So so let's turn our work. Actually I'm gonna turn it the other way because it keeps the string on the back. Let's go for round number seven. It's just chain two and one half double crochet into each going across. Okay let's turn our work. Let's move up to round number eight. We wanna do a decrease again. Just inserting into the hook. We wanna chain two and then the first two are together. And then these are the last two so we wanna put the last two together as well like so. And let's turn our work and we're gonna half double crochet. So just chain two and then half double crochet into the remaining ones that you have. And it says to fasten off at this point as well. So there you go. So what you need to do is repeat that on the other side but I'll get you started. Let's fasten that off first. because we have to figure out where the ear, other ear flap is gonna go with that. And we'll do that in just a moment. So that's what it looks like at this point. So let's figure out where the other ear flap is gonna go. I can tell this is where my seam line is and I can tell that I started off when I went this way. And I can also tell here because I buried it in the end when I was going all the way around. So what we need to do to find the second one we have to count 21 stitches. So we're gonna just start off at the bottom here and we're just going to start off the first one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 and I want to review that. So it says count 21 stitches across at the end of row number one and begin uh, next ear flap. So here's 21 and what I want to do is I want to fasten on this yarn and then repeat the instructions again for the ear flap in order to do the second side. So please do that and you can just reverse the video in order to figure out how to do the ear flaps once again but we just fastened on at this point and if you remember that it was um, chaining a two just like so and then half double crochet into the next 10. And please do that and then just reverse this video in order to learn how to do the ear flap once again if you need to. So I'm just finishing up the second ear flap and I've put them over top of each other. They look the same so therefore they're good. And so what we wanna do now is that we wanna chase the border now with single crochet and we're just gonna chain up one and we're just gonna work our way just evenly just going in the sides. So when we get to the end of the actual um, ear flap. So right at the points what we wanna do is chain six and then leave a little um, and that's a hole. And what we wanna do for that is that the braid actually works through that hole instead of trying to jam it between all the stitches. So we're just, there's really no math or science to it. We just wanna evenly uh, make these stitches look like they just belong and just chase the pattern just like so with single crochet. Once you get all the way to the brim of the hat over here it gets really easy. It's just you wanna make it look nice when you're going down the sides of the braids. You can also make it look really cool too if you wanted to do a separate color for the edge of your hat completely. It, it's an opportunity to do that as well. So you would have to fasten off and then just start and just do your edging just like so. When you get to the actual area here to the brim you just chase it so there's no fancy footwork. It's just put in the single crochets and so now we're just gonna follow it and do that. So just remember you're going to chain six and make sure that there's a hole right above the top just like so. So I'll leave that to you. When we come back I'll show you how to do the braid. So let's create the braid together. We're gonna do the ear flaps. I've already done one off camera. The easiest way to do this is that you end up with these big loops in the end and when you see all of this bunch together you realize you really do need that much space to go through. So what we wanna do is we wanna turn it so that the hat is inside just like so. I'm gonna fold the other one up and what I wanna do is that when I put this ear flap in I want to insert it from the bottom so go up from the bottom and then through the loop through. So the best way to do it at this point is just take all of this. This is five feet long. There are four strands of each of the colors and when you braid them there's going to be eight strands because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this big five foot strand now and we're gonna fold it in half off camera. Let me just sit back and just do that. And I'm making sure all the strands are pretty much in line. I don't wanna trim anything off. I'm doing it off camera just kind of doing commentary as I go and so now I want to basically have it like this. So this is about the middle part. So what I wanna do now is that I wanna grab this and I wanna put my fingers, and you can probably get your fingers, just kinda pinch it and pull through just like so. And I don't need to pull a lot through, I just need to have a loop and I'm going to then using my hands, it's like kinda like a finger or a, a arm knitting, you just wanna take this and just pull through the entire stock just like so. Make sure you grab everything. You're going to notice that some of the strings kind of have different tensions so we want to make sure that we just are keeping it easy going like so. And so the reason why I had you do it on the inside like this and come up is that this nice cross knot that you want to do across will be appearing flat. So you can see some of these uh, purple here are not in balance. So I just want to grab some of these purples find out which one it is and just kind of work your way through it. So I'm gonna do that a little bit off camera. Figure out which one it is. <laughs> so what I wanna do then is that I wanna take this and just take my time and I want to braid. So you want to separate all of the yarn. So I'm going to just kind of just say here's some purple and I want to get all the colors to go with each other. So here's some coral. I'm gonna go in a different direction for that. There's some purples going in this direction and so essentially you wanna separate all the strands and please do that and I'll meet you in just a moment. 
So now I have all my strands all separated just like so and now I wanna begin the bra braiding process. So we just wanna make sure we have everything. We want. I already uh, made sure I tightened up that other one that was kinda loose that I showed you in just a few seconds ago. And so essentially I just wanna start braiding. I wanna keep the same tension as I did the other one. So you just wanna keep going over and then this goes to the middle. Okay, so basically this side now goes to the middle just like so. And so I wanna take my time and do this off camera but uh, you can see that the braiding is starting to take effect. When we come back I'll show you the finished look of the top peak hat and this is the US peak hat. So my US peak hat is done. Here are my colors. You can see that on the original that we did as a sample we did a pom pom at the top. It really kinda made it fun and easy and then basically it just looks really kinda cool. So I have my braids. You can do them as long as you want. I know some people are gonna say oh well you shouldn't put braids on kids cause it's a choking hazard. Um, everybody's grown ups here. I think that we can all use our own opinions and basically make a judgment call when it comes to doing braids on any kind of projects. So this is a, a USP cat. Thank you so much and until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the crochet crowd.com. I'll see you.